specialist Scott Granger. FDOE DNA database houses more than one million offender samples. The database is a valuable tool for law enforcement, providing investigators with hundreds of hits every month, helping generate leads and solve violent crimes. Florida's DNA database is one of the largest in the nation and has provided more than 31,000 hits since its inception in 1990. Have you liked our Facebook page? FDLE Facebook followers can view breaking news, get notification when an Amber or missing child alert is issued, and stay up to date with important cybersecurity bulletins. We appreciate your call. A member will be available to assist you in a moment. You're goddamn framers for the fucking cops. That's what you are. You're fucking goddamn framers for the cops. If you are committed to service, integrity, respect, and quality, then FDLE may be looking for you. Visit us online at fdle.state.fl.us to learn more about what we do. Please stay on the line. Your call is important. You fucking lying, motherfuckers. Hello, I'm Keisha White, Senior Crime Laboratory Analyst in the Pensacola Crime Lab. Did you know FDLE has a state-of-the-art forensic document examination laboratory? FDLE's question document section has examined the handwriting on walls, cars, and even toilet paper. That's not all they do. These lab analysts also compare ink to paper. They can recover indentations and alterations. They also restore and reconstruct damaged documents, helping law enforcement throughout Florida solve violent crime and white collar crime. Hello, I'm Rick Swearingen, Commissioner of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Since its creation in October of 1967, the department has continually evolved, creating new and innovative methods to better serve our customers. FDLE is committed to service, integrity, respect, and quality. You goddamn liar! To learn more about who we are and the services we provide, please visit our website at www.fdle.state.fl.us. You're goddamn framers for the cops! That's all the fuck you are! FDLE works with local, state, and federal criminal justice agencies to prevent, to investigate, and to solve crimes while protecting Florida citizens and visitors. Please stay on the line. A member will be available to assist you in a moment. I'm Stacy Lehman, Training and Research Manager and Criminal Justice Professionalism. Conducting a criminal history check is a quick and easy way to find out valuable information before making a decision about hiring an employee, home contractor, or child care provider. FDLE maintains criminal history information in Florida and provides access to this information on our website at fdle.state.fl.us. For $24, you can conduct a statewide criminal history check and receive results back in a matter of minutes. Did you know that computer crimes take many forms? From malware to identity theft, SecureFlorida.org offers tips to keep you safe. Have a strong password with a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Make sure your firewall is turned on and keep your antivirus software updated. For more information, visit SecureFlorida.org. Please stay on the line. Your call is important to you. Bullshit! Bull motherfucking shit! Senior Management Analyst in the FDLE Inspector General's Office. FDLE members work hard to maintain the highest standards in law enforcement, developing and deploying the latest skills and techniques. To learn more about the accolades we've earned, visit our website at FDLE. You goddamn liars! You motherfucking liars, you! FDLE's website puts public safety information at your fingertips. By visiting us at www.fdle.state.fl. Jeez, I got fucking hung up on! I got fucking hung up on! Go try to call them fuckers again. Welcome to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. If you're having a life-threatening emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Please select one of the following options so that we can better serve you. For information on obtaining a criminal history background check, please press 1. If you have questions about sealing or expunging a criminal history record, or you want to check on the status of your application, please press 2. If you have questions about firearm background checks, or to check on the status of a firearm-related background check that has been delayed or denied, please press 3. 
For questions regarding officer certification or training, press 4. To file a complaint against a public official, FDLE member, or learn how to file a complaint against a law enforcement officer, press 5. For all other inquiries, please press 9. FDLE Watch and Warning, this line may be recorded. How may I help you? Good, I'm glad you're recording the line. Um, if I'm not correct, today is July 5th, 2019. Am I correct on that? Um, sure. Yes. Okay. Yesterday was July 4th, Independence Day. I hope you had a good 4th of July. Let me, let me tell you what happened to me, okay? I want, I've tried calling the Panama City Police Department. Their number's at 8713112. I tried calling the Bay County Sheriff's Department about where I was terrorized by some cops yesterday. I was on Beach Drive in Panama City, Florida, riding my bicycle westbound approximately 9.30 last night, July 4th. Sir, I'm going to have to turn you down because you're a bit too loud. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it quiet. I, I'll keep it down, okay? okay. I'm, I'm just... I'm just Tore up on Independence okay. Day, Miss. Uh, who am I speaking to at the Florida Department of Law Enforcement? Um, I'm not required to give out my name. Do you have a do you, do you have an operator number or something so we can verify that I talked to Florida Department of Law Enforcement? No, I do not have any identifying information that I can give out, but I can tell you that this is the watch and warning desk that you're calling. Okay, okay. I, I heard on the teleprompter there. I think it was if you push number five, it said, or I think it was number five about. If you want to file a complaint against a law enforcement officer, well, I want to file a complaint, and, and they make it real hard. I have been, okay. uh, um, I was riding my bicycle. This is my reward for riding a bicycle. Number one, when I ride my bicycle, I make sure to ride in a courteous manner, in a predictable manner. I've got reflectors all over my bicycle. I've got two bright white lights on the back of it. I've got a red blinking light on my bicycle. I have a super bright 200 lumens flashlight that I have on the front. Okay, sir, can I just, can I interrupt you for just one moment? Yeah, go ahead. You're calling, you're calling like a centralized watch desk. I just take like... I'm, I work in domestic security up here, so I cannot help with this particular problem. However, I do have a number that you can call to report corruption or um, complaints against local police departments and sheriff's office. However, that office has closed at 5 p.m., what? so you're going to have to call back Monday through Friday, but I can give you that number if you'd like. What is that number, miss? It's going to be 850 Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 8240. And again, I'm just an analyst, so I really cannot, I don't take any reports yeah, of that nature. Yeah, what does an analyst mean? What does that mean? I've never heard that term. I provide support for local law enforcement. Well, see, I'm talking about a very great, a, a public importance call, and I'm afraid, I'm a, they've already threatened to arrest me because I refused, they wanted me to get a fixed lamp on my bicycle, to where I'm not, I wouldn't be able to flash a car if it was coming on a side road. I also use it to look to see about the road kill that's on the road, up and down the road. I don't know one fixed light that you can take and you can, you know, wherever your eyes go, I can point it. And, and, and the thing is, this is, I'm afraid that I am not going to be, I'm going to be arrested, and this is the reason why I'm making this call as of July 5th, 2019. And it's if, you, if you feel that you're going to be arrested, you need to contact a lawyer. Um, uh, wait a minute, wait, wait, aren't, you, aren't you there to protect citizens? I don't need no lawyer. That's a lie. Again. What are you there for? Let me ask you something. What are you there for? Why do I hear on on your teleprompter there that that you that you aid citizens? Is it is that only that citizens happens. that have well that are well connected? If somebody's sure. poor and they ride a bicycle, you ain't gonna help them out. Sir, I am just an analyst here at the Watch and Warning. I know, I know. I watch and warning of what? Giving you a number. Watch and okay. What does that number go to, Miss? What does that number go to? It goes to executive investigations. Are you talking about Rick Swearington? No. 
Rick Swearington is is the uh, the head of Florida Department of Law Enforcement. I thought you knew that. He's the commissioner of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Oh, he's not the head? Then who's the head of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement? Well, you can consider that a head, but his official title is a commissioner. I know, I know they, they make things next to impossible for anybody to be able to get something done about dirty cops. Because I'm sure the Panama City cops have dirt on the, uh, the Bay County Sheriff's Department. And so the Bay County Sheriff's Department is not going to do anything about the dirty cops. Sir, again, I have given you the number to executive investigations. I, there is nothing else I can assist you with. So if there is anything else that you need, let me know now or else I will be terminating this call. Why would you terminate the call? If it wasn't for Title IX, women wouldn't even have their rights. Do you forget about? Do you forget about our rights? Have a great day. Bye bye.